Greetings, this is Robin's Book Club, episode 60, The Unseen Saul Lighter, the first episode of 2023. We've previously looked at all about Saul Lighter and Forever Saul Lighter, and those videos have been very popular because Saul is incredibly popular, and rightly so. I will offer an initial comparison of those earlier volumes to this one at the end of this video. Published at the end of September 2022, while I was deep into an extension for my photography master's degree, uh, this was one of the most eagerly awaited photo books of last year. Simply put, I apologise that I couldn't get this video done then, but it was pretty full on with the studies. Incidentally, over the two-year course I emerged with a merit, which I'm really quite happy about. As you would have seen, this video is literally my first look at the book, which was still sealed in plastic wrap. The RRP in the UK is £35, but as per usual, prices do fluctuate, and I have some Amazon affiliate links below for Amazon.com and Amazon.co.uk. So if you wanted to check the current price, you could use them, and if you did buy something, I would receive a small commission. If you wanted to support the channel generally, while we're on that subject, then I do have a Buy Me A Coffee. Uh, the link for that is below, and I'm hoping to eventually uh, get the support towards buying Sleeping by the Mississippi by Alex Soth. Uh, which is a book that I think would be really, really cool to, to feature here, but it's a little bit on the pricey side. Anyway, back to Saul. Imagine working at the Saul Lighter Foundation and being faced with tens of thousands of Saul's amazing photographs. How would you approach such a collection? Some would be very well cat catalogued and documented and some not so much at all. It would be incredibly exciting. I think all of us would love the chance to, to be there and to kind of get hands-on with such a collection. But I imagine it would also be completely overwhelming and incredibly daunting. This book is the result of one project, uh, 76 never-before-seen slides out of a first edit of 10,000. And if you've ever kind of even attempted to edit a few of your own photographs from a, you know, from a shoot of, say, a few hundred down to half a dozen you'll know how hard that is imagine 76 from 10,000 uh, well that is what Margaret Erb and Michael Perillo did and they tell the story in the text and for now let's just look at the beautiful photos and I'll compare the three volumes at the end
Well, just time for a short comparison of the three Saul Lighter books in my collection. This volume, uh, as you can see, is bigger, it's more premium feeling, and it is hardback compared to the other two paperbacks, but they're less expensive and have more images. They also have uh, more in the way of essays about Saul rather than about the foundation and about the actual project for the unseen Saul Lighter. The hardback book does feel more premium, and while I don't love the black paper choice, don't think well for me I, I wouldn't have chosen that but the paper quality is good and you know ultimately i'd say all three books are worth a place in your bookcase because they're Saul, and that's brilliant and maybe i'll do a full comparison in due course if you want to see one anyway please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time for another episode of robin's book club